Hello there, metalheads. My name is Eric, and you're listening to Metal Verbalizer Podcast. Today we're going to have a episode about a mastermind in metal called Tobbe Englund. Uh, it's a little bit different because we're going to mainly focus on his solo project and his journey. We usually don't do single musicians uh, on this podcast. We usually focus on bands, but we're going to do this one because I really like uh, Tobbe. Uh, Tobi Englos is a fantastic musician uh, known from bands like Raubtier and Sabaton. Uh, and then he has his solo project, as we, we're going to talk about later. Uh, he grew up in a town in northern Sweden called Laptresk, which is close to the Finnish border. Uh, and he encountered music early in his life, actually, when he did get a Casio keyboard at the age of six. It seems like he found his thing, though. When he got his first guitar at the age of 10. Uh, at first it was something to burn time with. But after a while he kind of started feeling like he wanted to practice more. He, he like started feeling an urge to start practicing. And uh, he did that and he did a lot of it. Like 8 hours a day or something. Uh, his per- first band was created when he was only 14. Uh, with a friend of his. but. This didn't l- like last for so long, because during this time he saw another Swedish guitarist on TV called uh, Ingvi Malmsten, and uh, that is kind of su- that that one is gonna become a big inspiration for Tobbe, and uh, also it put the band on hold. And the reason for that was that it seeing Ingvi Malmsten on TV changed Tobbe's musical direction. Back in 1998, the best year in my opinion, uh, he started another band called Winterlong. Uh, and once again with friends of his, which I think is a really good idea. And this band, Tobe, did a lot actually. He was uh, the lead guitarist, bassist, and even vocalist from the year 2006. Winterlong actually released four al- albums during the years of 2001 to 2006. And uh, 2006, Tobe also. Uh, had his debut as a solo artist, which became to be uh, an album called Influences. And uh, even though uh, Vintelong kind of, or technically uh, was, uh, after the second album, it was in a way considered to be a solo project. Uh, During 2009 and 2010, though, Tobi was a bassist in Raubtier, as we mentioned before. Uh, behind the vocalist and guitarist Pat Hulkoff. Uh, Sabaton, sp- Sabaton, which is another amazing band, split up in 2012, and Pat Sundström, bassist in uh, Sabaton, called Hulkoff to ask him to join Sabaton, which he declined because of Raubtir. But Hulkoff actually called Sundström back to recommend Tobbe as the new guitarist of Sabaton, which uh, came to be later. Uh, Tobi was a guitarist in uh, Sabaton until 2016 when he decided to work more on his solo project once again. And uh, I actually was there in Falun, Sweden, where he played his last show with Sabaton. Uh, which was kind of sad, uh, since the albums that were released during his time and the band was absolute masterpieces. And, uh, well, their, their music that I have released later is great as well. Uh, but yeah, we weren't sad for long because in 2016 he released an album called Before the Storm. And in my opinion, it's just a great album as a restart for his solo career. It has tracks like The End of Oil, which is a great heavy metal masterpiece, uh, super heavy. And then we have tracks like The Eye of the Storm, which is an instrumental that has some like Celtic Irish vibes to it. Uh, it is a fantastic album that I couldn't really recommend it enough. Uh, but yeah, uh, Tobe grinded, uh, continued to grind with the music, and 2017 we were treated with yet another album called Sold My Soul. This might be my favorite album from his, but it's just such a great one. Uh, it has tracks like the title track, obviously. Sold My Soul and Annihilation and Trägen Winner, 
Trägen vinner is a song with Swedish lyrics that is about fighting through your struggles. Because the one who fights through their struggles is the one that's gonna be the winner. Which is roughly what the title is translated to in English. Especially Soul My Soul and Annihilation. Uh, but the album has some serious Judas Priest vibes. But I would say that Seri- Soul My Soul and a- Annihilation are the two tracks that has the most Judas Priest vibes. Uh, and uh, then we have tracks like The Glow, which is have almost a Black Sabbath vibe uh, sound to it. And that's an instrumental track as well. I like that he has played around with a little bit to make the in- some instrumental tracks. Uh, and that's really hard to make it work. But he he does once again a good job. 2018, we got yet another album. <laughs> once again, we're we're so spoiled with getting great albums from uh, Tolbert. Uh, but yeah, it, and this one is called The Drain- Draining of Vergelme. This album starts with Though Ancient, Though Free, which is the Swedish national anthem, actually which is an instrumental with only strings and lead guitar. So on this one, he doesn't have any vocals. Uh, but we also get tracks like Illuminati, which is my favorite from this album. Such a tune. Um, and then we got tracks like Fingerspitzengefühl, which is a German word, which kind of is translated to instinct. And a track, a track called Viking, or Viking, uh, which is yet another track in Swedish. Uh, so far, the releases we can clearly hear, in my opinion at least, some uh, influences from his earlier bands. Uh, and I'm talking about Sabaton and Raubtier in this matter, especially on the vocals, in my opinion. We can clearly he- hear some inspiration there. Do you remember that I said that some of the songs had Judas Priest vibes? Well, 2019, we actually got a tribute album to Judas Priest from Tobit. Uh, one thing that I really like with this album is that they have included some of uh, the songs from Priest that are a little bit more unknown and uh, left out some of the most famous ones. Uh, the album has tracks like uh, The River, Ripper, Hellbent, For Leather, which are maybe the two most famous ones from this album. Uh, and then we have Blood Red Skies, we have Between the Hammer and Anvil, and uh, it's just... Doing justice to the vocals of Rob Halford is nearly impossible for, because his vocal talent is inhuman in a way. But I think that Tolbert does such a great job. And he may, even though you can clearly hear that it is Judas Priest songs, uh, he does such a good job of making it kind of his own. This is unfortunately the lo- last album uh, release that we have yet from them or from Tobe uh, they have released some great singles though uh, that you need to check out uh, they, and they have actually I think it was February this year they have actually released a uh, fresh one fresh and new one called The One and Only that you really should check out but yeah one, one album that we haven't talked about though is an album called From the Wilderness. This one was actually released during his final time with Sabaton in the year of 2015. Uh, this album started with a track uh, with gut-punching drums and ripping guitar riffs, as we have heard in the other albums. Uh, and uh, that one, this one is called Wildborn. Then we have a track called Stormy Nights, which... And with, with this one, we can clearly hear his inspiration from Ingvi Malmsteen uh, with the, that, like, diminished scales and all of that awesomeness. But, yeah, uh, this is actually an album that he has chose to record fully instrumental. I don't really know, since he had a lot of, like, work with Sabaton, he might... Maybe there wasn't, like, any time to record vocals too much. But it is a fully instrumental album, except a bonus track that we have. And it's actually Fingerspitzengefühl, uh, as appeared on uh, The Draining of Vergelmer. Uh, 
because apparently he had already written this uh, song, so it was uh, uh, released on this album instead. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I have for you about uh, Tobbe Englund. I really suggest that you should check him out. Uh, he has some seriously great stuff that I think you would like. And uh, follow his social medias as well uh, so that you stay updated to when he will release mu new music because he posts that on Facebook or Instagram and that kind of stuff. So I guess you're, ju you're just going to need to search for Tobe England and you will find him. Uh, and uh, don't forget to follow our uh, Metal Verbalizer social media as well so that you stay updated about when we release new episodes and maybe even you, my friend. You, my friend. Yes, I'm talking to you that is listening to this episode right now. You can be the one that help us decide what to talk, which band to talk about next. Um, so don't forget to follow our social medias so you have the possibility of doing that. And the only thing left to do right now is to say, hope you had a great time listening to this episode. And I see you guys in another episode in the future. Bye for now. Eric's out.